First West in Monroe, Louisiana, and we have an early morning rehearsal. Really early. So before we leave Monroe, we want to stop over at Little Indian Restaurant. The food was so good and the service was just phenomenal and we ended up making friends with the owner. So we told them we'd stop in before we hit the road. It smells so good. He insisted that we eat, so I think we're gonna grab a little bite. that we absolutely love this kind of fish. <laughs> it's like some of our fave. And this is really good. Oh yes. So I think I found a new favorite and it's called chili chicken. It's amazing. <laughs> Get out! So he just brought out mango lassi. Just like on the desk. As you can see by everyone's response. <laughs> Can you open it? Yes. I love that butter chicken, I'll tell you. And this mango lassi, amazing. <laughs> and now for some dessert. Mmm, mm, these are really good. And this is delicious. This is Krishna, and yes. he owns Taste of yes. India. <laughs> uh, I just want to introduce you to him so that way we can come by yes. and say hi to Krishna and uh, and thank him for the incredible meal because it yes. will be. <laughs> There's snow out there. Snow. Well, there's pretty much snow all over the RV. Yep. And it's still snowing. Snow, snow. <laughs> so, besides beautiful snow, we also woke up to dead batteries this morning. Dead batteries in the front and in the back. Uh -huh. Not really sure why. Um, so, thank God we're running on propane for heat. <laughs> okay, 
so it's super cold out there. Mm. So part of the blessing of boondocking at a Walmart was that I was able to go into their automotive section and uh, get someone to help me get a jump on our RV so that way we can kind of charge up the batteries. So we had full charge batteries last night and this morning they were completely drained. Do we have any idea why that would be? That just happened. <laughs> Hey, Walt. Were you filming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's got to be a problem with a, what's called the converter. It'll have to be another one of those. Uh, figure it out and get it squared away. Next, let's see. Oh, yeah, I can hear you. Since that Memphis police are currently on this scene, of, they're all due to ice. And Jonesboro, zero degrees and three below Ooh. in Tunica. Definitely want to have all the layers on before walking out the door. Are you sure you want to go out there, Chef? Yes. It's awfully cold. Let me see your mittens. You got your mittens on? You got your gloves on? Abel, you're not going out right now. Okay. Alright, let's shut the door. Abel, who's out there? Oh! <laughs> oh, what you got there, Chef? <laughs> okay, Biggie Small, I'm outside all that snow. And you brought some in for Abel to try? I think he likes it. What do you think, Abel? Mm. Yeah? Whoa! What, <laughs> what do you see out there? Oh, no. <laughs> I was outside that whole time. <laughs> Alrighty, guys? Yeah. Ready to go? <laughs> hey, you ready to go? <laughs> All right, boys, go this way. <sighs> How did you do this? <laughs> I gotta put it on. Oh. I need your hand. <laughs> I need this hand. <laughs> Come on, you gotta give up that finger if you wanna go out. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? <laughs> looks like the streets have melted already so I think what we'll try to do is drive over to the campground so that way we can um, plug in and not have to worry about the battery problem happening again tonight. Well the streets have melted quite a bit since the sun came out. This is great. Let's pray that there's just no ice. Thanks Walmart. Alright, I want to go for it. Oh man, just go really slow. In 4.9 miles, turn right onto Highway 306. He's 
so. No one's at the office, but uh, we can pretty much just pick a spot. Okay, I guess we'll pick whatever is easiest to pull into. This will be all ice here pretty quick. Is it 10 degrees out? <laughs> it's 13. 13, huh? Why are we going all the way back? Why didn't we just take the ones right up front? We made it, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Are we can play 